Hi everyone, AppChasers.com here. Today we're going to take a look at how to use the Watchtower Online Library with your iPad. Now the Watchtower Online Library has been around for a while now, but we thought we'd take a few minutes to show you around and hopefully you can learn some new tricks on how to use the site on your iPad. So here we are on the main page of Watchtower Online Library, and that's found at wol.jw.org. When you come to the website, the first thing you might want to do is bookmark this website to your iPad home screen. To do that, all you want to do is tap on the share button. That's to the right of where it says wol.jw.org. It's a little square with the arrow pointing up. We'll tap on that, and you can see here we've got a few different options. The one that we were interested in right now is Add to Home Screen. You see that at the bottom, it's the third one from the left. So we'll tap on that, Add to Home Screen, and this will bring up a nice little icon and a title here for Watchtower Online Library. Now you can change that title if you'd like. Maybe we'd simply like to call it W-O-L. So we got that there. And we'll now tap Add. This will add it to the home screen of our iPad. So anytime you want to quickly get to Watchtower Online Library, all you need to do is tap the icon and it'll bring up the library right there. You can see we've got the daily text showing here. This is the main view. It'll show you the daily text on the right hand side. And on the left hand side you've got a welcome message along with an announcement section here that it will a lot of times show new uh, languages that are available or new publications that are available. There's a search bar on the upper left along with some tabs for Bible publications and daily text. So the first thing that we'll look at is basically overviewing the weekly schedule for the meetings. So we'll tap on daily text here. So here we have our daily text in a larger view. And we've got some navigation arrows at the top. For example, we've got today at the top middle, but to the right and left, we've got some arrows where we can toggle back and forth through different days. And then we can always get back to today's text by tapping on the Today button. Right underneath that, we've got a link to the main publication of Examining the Scriptures Daily. So if we tap on that, you'll see this takes us to a scrollable view of the different daily texts. Now to get back, we'll go back to our upper left-hand corner to the back button in Safari. And that brings us right back to where we were before. Now we also have, if we scroll down underneath the daily text, we've got our weekly schedule. And this is very nice now because the Kingdom Ministries are available on wol.jw.org. So we can study for the entire meeting uh, using the website here. So we've got uh, different items called out here. For example, the Congregation Bible Study. Uh, we've got our Draw Close to Jehovah book. And then we've got the reference material for the Theocratic Ministry School under that. And then going on into the service meeting and the different parts that we're going to be considering there. If we continue scrolling, we've got our uh, Watchtower lesson that will be studied uh, on the weekend, along with the simplified English Watchtower underneath that. Now, let's say we're going to study for the meeting, and let's say the first thing that we want to do is study for the Bible highlights this week. So what we can do here is we've got our Bible reading under Theocratic Ministry School. If we simply touch on where it says Numbers chapter 33 through 36, it'll bring up a pop-up window. And this will actually give us a scrollable view of those scriptures. And it's a little bit small here, and we might lose our spot easily. So anytime one of these pop-up windows comes up, you can simply tap on the title here, and uh, this will bring us right into that publication. In this case, it's the New World Translation. So we've got our entire Bible reading here. This time it's broken up by chapter here. So we can scroll all the way through chapter 33 
And then if we want to move on to chapter 34, we simply look at our left-hand column where it gives us a grid layout of the different chapters. Now, since we're in Numbers chapter 33, we can simply tap on this arrow button and that'll take us to the next chapter, which is in this case 34. So let's say we're scrolling along here and we find a scripture that we would like to do a little bit of more research on. To do that, all you need to do is tap on the scripture you're looking for. So for example, you can see here we've got um, basically showing verses 8 through 16 on this page. And you'll notice that verse 11 is bold. And that means that there are references that are available to look up here under verse 11. So let's tap on 11 here. And you can see that it again brings up this pop-up box giving us our index 1986 through 2013 with references to the Insight Book, Volume 1 and Insight Volume 2. So this is a real quick way to find some neat information about a scripture that you're reading as you're preparing the Bible for the Bible Highlights. So in order to find some more information on that, you can simply tap on the reference. So here we tapped on the Insight Book, Volume 1. And this gives us the information that we're looking for. And the relevant information is always highlighted in red. So it's very quick and easy to find. So we've got some uh, information here that we've found. And maybe we'd like to uh, save it into our notes or some other place on our iPad. So we can simply do that by tapping and dragging whatever we want to copy. And you can see that we've got this copy dialog box that comes up. We can simply tap on copy. And now that's uh, available for us no matter where we go uh, in our iPad. So I like to use the Drafts app. And that's right here on my iPad. So I'll tap on Drafts. And now we've got our information about the uh, highlight that we wanted to bring out. Now let's switch back over into the Watchtower Online Library. And I'm going to do this by double tapping on the home button of my iPad. And this gives us our app switcher. So we can switch right back to tapping on Safari that brings us back into the Watchtower Online Library. So let's say we've got this information and we would like to perhaps uh, view it in another language. Well, you notice, or you may have noticed, that when I touched on a paragraph, this gives us a little green line next to that paragraph. And what that does is it shows us which paragraph we want uh, to call out for translation. And it'll translate the entire article, but this will give us a good idea of where the paragraph we're looking for is, in case we're not familiar with that language. So if we've got a paragraph two here this time uh, highlighted with this little green bar on the left hand side and we've got our translation uh, button up here in the upper right you can see here it's already set to Chinese but I can set it to a different language by simply tapping on that down arrow and it'll bring up the different languages that are available so now we can scroll through and pick the different language that we'd like so let's choose one, maybe uh, German here. So we've got German selected, and now it'll find, again, paragraph two, because that's the one we highlighted with that green line, and it translates it right into the German language. Now let's go back to our daily text tab. We'll touch on that again, and we can see we're back here to our main view showing our weekly schedule. Now, let's say we're looking into our talk number two, and we want to look at the reference material, which is from the reasoning book in this case. So we tap on that. It brings up our pop-up box, and we want to get a bigger view of this, so we just go right into our title here, Satan the Devil. And again, it'll automatically fast-forward or jump right to the section that pertains to this week's material and highlighted in red. So we've got this section. Again, we can tap on a scripture. It'll bring up that pop-up box. And you can see even right from one of these pop-up boxes, 
Uh, verse number two is bold. So that means there's some extra material that we could look up on verse two. If we tap on that now, it'll bring up this new page showing us our index and the different uh, sites of reference for verse two here of, of Revelation. Now let's uh, go back to that page that we were just on. And I'm going to do this by swiping from the left hand side of my iPad screen. And that's a little trick to help you go back uh, a page. Instead of touching the back arrow, you can sw simply swipe from the right or left to go forward or backward while you're navigating with Safari. So we've got this uh, article here and we'd like to share it with someone. We might have a Bible student who we'd like to share it with or maybe a householder that will be assisting us in a talk. To do that, all we want to do is email it, and that's done through the share button here in Safari. Right now it's hidden in Safari, but in order to activate it and show all of our menu icons, we can simply start scrolling down on the page. And you can see this brings up our icons here with the share button now being available. That's that box with the up arrow. And we've got a number of different options here. Uh, we could message it to someone and we could mail it to someone. I'm gonna choose mail here. That's gonna bring up a nice email window and it'll show our, it'll populate our message with the title of the article as well as a link to the article. And we can simply um, address it to whomever we like. I'm gonna cancel out of that it's going to ask if I want to save that draft or not, but I'm going to say delete draft since it was simply for a demonstration. So there we go. That's how we can share an article right from the Watchtower online library. Now let's go back to our study material for the week, and I'm going to do that simply by dragging from the left of my screen. And you can see we've got some material that's from the Kingdom Ministry. There's a sample presentation that we can bring up here. And we can look at our October Watchtower and Awake to find those sample presentations and simply scroll up and down through those. Now let's go over into some of these other tabs across the top here. We've got our Bible and publications. Let's go into our Bible tab and this allows us to look up scriptures by just tapping on where we wanna go. For example, we could go to 1 Samuel here and we've got our different chapters that are laid out in grid format here. Or if we want to get an outline of the entire book of First Samuel, we can tap on this outline button. And just like in the new uh, version of the New World Translation, we've got our outline of contents here that we can scroll through. And then we can always go and pick uh, one of these verses too. But let's tap on that again. It brings us back to this grid. And we can simply look up chapter 13 and we've got our different verses that we can scroll through and read. Again, the bold ones having additional material that we could look up by tapping on it. Here we've got a watchtower of 2000 and we can tap on that and it'll go and it has that highlighted in red. So that's how to use the uh, Bible here. Now let's go into our Publications tab. And this is where we're going to see a nice uh, array of different literature that's available in our Bible study. So we've got our different Bibles that we could view. Now this gives us the Reference Bible as well as the 2013 New World Translation. We'll go back here. We've got our Publications Index, which we could look up by Scripture or by Subject. We'll go back. We've got our new research guide that we could look up different subjects here and simply scroll through those. We'll go back and back once again. We've got different watchtowers through the years that we could scroll through and awakes in that same manner. We've got different books that we could look at, yearbooks, Kingdom Ministries, which is the new one, brochures, booklets, and tracks. So a number of different publications that are available under the Publications tab. Now, what if you have a subject that you'd simply like to do research on your own? Well, you can always type that into 
the uh, enter topic box at the top of Watchtower Online Library. So let's do that. Let's look up Paradise here. We'll just type in Paradise. And it gives us a few different um, suggested searches. Uh, you'll see one most likely that will have a topic next to it. And that shows that it's actually from one of the indexes. So let's do that. Let's tap on Paradise with the topic there. And it'll bring us to the Insight on the Scriptures, the Watchtower Publications Index, as well as the Reasoning from the Scriptures. So we'll type it, tap on the Insight book, and that brings us right over to our Insight book on Paradise. Now, perhaps you have a search term that you're looking for uh, that, you know, probably isn't a search term in the, in the publications index, but maybe it's um, something like uh, zealous preaching, and it's just a phrase that we want to look up. So we'll search for that, and it's going to give us on the left-hand side the different publications that it's searching through, which you can toggle on and off, and then on the right-hand side, it gives us our results. Interestingly, you can see the two different words highlighted here. And at the top of the page of our results, you see we have 139 results located in the same paragraph. Now, if you want to drill down a little bit more finite, you can tell it to search in the same sentence. So I only want to see zealous preaching shown in the same sentence of an article. So we'll toggle that one and now we're down to 74 results showing um, a little bit more detailed search here of those two words in the same sentence. We can also look for them a little bit more broad in the same article here. So we'll tap on that and now we've got 356 results with those two words in the same article. So some neat different ways to uh, look at the Watchtower Online Library. You've also got a settings button here on the right hand side. In our settings here, we've got uh, different libraries. For example, we can tell that, that we want our primary language to be English and our secondary library to be, well here we've got German, which we selected earlier, but we can simply tap on that and choose a different language if we like. So we could also do a little scrolling here We'll go down and set Chinese as our secondary language, so now that's changed there. We can tell it to show uh, multimedia images or show audio when that's available to listen to an article. We've also got our default scope that we were just showing you located in the same paragraph as the default, but we could set located in the same sentence or article as our default as well. And then we can also change the font size here of the articles that we're looking at. So I just bumped it up here to 17 points. And uh, if you want, we can save that and we'll show you what that looks like now. So now we have a lot larger text uh, for our daily text. And then every article that we look at will have this larger text. So that's how to increase the font size on Watchtower Online Library. So that's basically a general overview of how to use the Watchtower Online Library. I hope you learned something. And if you'd like to see some other reviews, including how to use JW.org, just head on over to AppChasers.com.